Yeah, good morning. We're currently standing at a famous landmark here on campus called The Rock, where students can come and write messages. This rock has been repainted at least three to four times already since Monday's shooting, and it currently reads always a Spartan in memory of the students who lost their lives. And last night, it was the site of a vigil. Sadness, heartbreak, and anger filled the crowd as students, parents, and community members remembered their fellow Spartans. Alexandria was noted for her engagement and kindness. Brian was a leader in our Greek community. And Ariel was headed toward a career of service as a physician. They will be Spartans forever. Thousands gathered on campus as student leaders and university officials came up to the podium. In the coming days and weeks, people will rightfully question whether it is safe to come to campus anymore. But Michigan State University is a place with many strong communities. There are many resources here for you, and we will make sure that you will not fall through the cracks. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer also in attendance. We shouldn't have to live like this. We shouldn't have to subconsciously scan every room for an exit, go through the grim exercise of figuring out who our last call would be to. Our campuses, churches, classrooms, and communities should not be battlefields. I don't love the place. I live the place. Head basketball coach Tom Izzo, another leading voice on campus, shared words of comfort. To the families of those who were senselessly taken from us, words seem so hollow right now. To the individuals currently fighting for their lives in a hospital and their families, we're praying for you. The speakers thanking first responders, including campus police, there to grieve and console while the Michigan State Police provided security. We're going to heal and we're going to grieve together with our community. Let's all do a better job taking care of one another. A community grieving, but they will always be Spartan strong. As you can imagine, it's been pretty quiet here on campus, very different from what it usually looks like. We're talking about a massive campus, uh, usually filled with tons of people around, uh, but now kind of resembles a ghost town as people try to take time to process Monday's events. All classes, both online and in person, have been canceled this week and will resume back on Monday. Back to you. As National Correspondent Stephanie Sandoval reporting.